Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 982. And today we are back for a brand new video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Um, it's a video I've been a bit hyped for for a couple of hours now, lads. Then, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know that. I've tried to be a bit silent so I don't use my material, as it were, um, on Twitter. There's obviously something big that's happening at Rangers just now. You'll know by that clickbait title. Let's have a little look at it. Man, isn't it delicious and clickbait? Uh, Rangers are selling Barry Mackay. So, that gets me pissed off already, to be honest with you, because he's one of our own. Remember, he scored the first goal in the third division. He came all the way back up last season. He was like the wonder kid. Just Google Barry Mackay. Look at everyone's comments vanishing quicker than shit. They're all just like, oh, delete that comment. Delete that tweet about how good Barry Mackay is. We're all going to pretend he's shit now because he's leaving. Right? Everyone's freaking out. And I said, oh, Barry Mackay's always been shite anyway. He's been got one, one, one out of every ten. It used to be one out of two. Then it was one every three games. Then it was one out of every five games. Now, because he's officially leaving now, it's one every ten games that he had a good game. Yeah, yeah. He's not forgetting the back-to-back -back games where he came off the bench to save Pedro and us last season, towards the end of the season. But we'll not, we'll not talk about that. We'll just leave that. We'll, for, we'll forget about that because he's one every ten. That's what we're going to go with, lads. We're going to go with one every ten. That's it. Um, obviously, as you can probably tell, I'm in the minority that thinks Barry McKay certainly should be staying with Rangers. If I've got someone with quality who um, has been a part of the club a long time, Knows the club inside out. Uh, yeah, you can say, aye, but he's moody. David Cooper was moody. All right? Aye, doesn't he celebrate everyone's goals really hard? I didn't really agree with that. Can you show me one time where he didn't celebrate when Rangers scored? What's the other thing? Oh, his attitude's bad. How many gimmick things has he done on the Rangers TV channel? Like where he's doing all these silly things, but his attitude's bad. So what? He's not like everyone else. Can everybody just be different? No, everyone has to be, act a certain way and... Do you like microphone and the stand? It doesn't matter how shite he plays, but we love him anyway because he done that one thing. But, but Barry McKay's just like, nah. Nah, mate. Nah. Ken Whitty, he, he wore gr green boots. He's dead to me. He's dead to me. Oh, this is going to be a bit running. I don't know how much I'm actually going to cut out of this or how much you've actually even seen. This video could be 10 seconds long. It could be 2 minutes free. It depends on how much I've cut out. Um... I'm absolutely disgusted in the sale. Obviously, I, I kind of called this a long time ago. If you've been watching the channel, I've been setting up the change with the Rangers roundups. I have been saying that he will be going. And a lot of you have been saying, oh, he might not go. He was like, obviously, he was included in the Europa League squad. And that gave me a little bright bit of hope. Uh, but I knew with this Walker situation and everything like that, I knew it was going to be sign in to sort of replace that. I just think it's absolutely disgusting. Now, let's talk about the fee. Now, last season, there was that rumour that there was a £4 million bid rejected for Barry McKay. We knew that was bullshit, off the bat. We did. But 500k up front that could raise to 1.5 million, depending on appearances, goals, and promotion. For who? Nottingham Forest. All right. Hmm? And who's in charge of Nottingham Forest? Warburton. All right, so we're never getting 1.5 million from them. No, we're lucky to get the 500 thousand, but they're paying up front. Really? We're going to sell it fucking Warburton at the cheap? Really? After what that sneaky little bitch done with his little number two, who David Weir, should be took in the Hall of Fame. Um, after what they've done, we're going to sell uh, one of our best players. I know he's inconsistent. He's fucking young. That's what the day. He's not, when he gets to 26, 27, 28, that's when they get them in their prime and they can find their feet. But we've got someone with natural talent. Someone I think everybody who's watching this video right now um, would agree with on his day, he's our best player. Um, even if you look at the team just now, do you think Dal Seal done enough last week when on Thursday? I lost my voice and had to cut out about 20 clips for my Vatch vlog because everyone was booing him in the second half. And oh, no, but it looked good when for the first 10 minutes and then he died off. Would he have done any worse? Obviously, I'm not wanting Dal Seal to fail, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just thinking, why do we do this? We're actually starting to get a squad with some number of players that they can fight for a position so everybody doesn't get lazy because they're guaranteed a spot in the team. And we're back. Uh, the camera cut off. Can't remember exactly where I was when it did cut off. So I'm going to be interested when I'm looking back at this and when I'm editing. Uh, but overall, my thoughts, because I've also got other things to talk about today with the Graham Dorn situation being accepted and all this cool stuff. I like to bring you everything. I just think I'm very, very disappointed. I'm disgruntled. I'm disoriented. Um, other dis words I don't even know how annoyed I am at this situation. How are you guys feeling? 
Well, I'm thinking about this. Um, if you're watching this video right now, maybe drop it down in the down below in the comments. I know some of you guys will just think like straight blue and all is just a good. Got the money, bing bang, bring Walker in. Sweet. Right? That's fair enough. If that's your opinion, lads, I don't disagree, even though it's wrong. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really, really interested to know what you guys are thinking if you're being truthful and just say, is it a good move? Like 500,000 up front and then it could rise up to 1.5 million. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about the next story that's actually going to be the Rangers right now because that first story gets a massive double thumbs down for the very first time, I believe, under the Pedro Esque. There's obviously all these stuff that's been put in saying he's no signing a new deal. I better address that because I know a lot of comments will be like, he's no signed a new deal yet. He doesn't care if he's playing yet. Like... You think it on Wonder, Under Warburton, he was like his number one man. He was playing even when he was half injured, and we all sort of knew that. We've all seen that video where he's created about 10 assists, but Rangers just couldn't hit a barn door with a shotgun. We've seen that video. It's on Twitter. It'll probably be taken down now, though, because what people want to speak about now is look how many goals, look how many assists he's got. Look how many goals, look how many assists he's got. What happened to that video six months ago when we were all like, Barry Mackay, he's a creative genius. It's just, it's the other teams, it's the other players letting him down. But now, because we're selling Barry Mackay, we're like, Bar McKay never does any assists. Doesn't he create nothing? Yeah, where's that video? Is that video just gone now? How many retweets is that getting bad boy gonna get now? Doubt it's gonna be very many. Everyone's gonna unretweet it, if that's possible. Uh obviously he is gonna be leaving, there's been all that stuff and but my my personal opinion on the contract thing is as soon as Pedro's came in, he's dropped Barry, he's brought him on for the bench, he's never really started, I've never given my chance to start. So if you're under contract and everything, you just probably maybe he's just saying to yourself, Okay, well, am I going to be playing in your team? Am I, uh, I think maybe Pedro said something to him. Maybe no. I, I'm not going to want to be these people that just say, based uh, based on my opinions on certain like, made-up things in my own brain. I'm just going to say, from my personal point of view, if you're just talking about on the field, on the field, answer, none of this sulking shit, none of this celebration bullshit, none of this, did he sign a contract bullshit, none of that. On the field, he's one of our better players. He's still young, still got a lot of years left in him. He's quick, both footy, can play anywhere in the front line. For five hundred thousand, we're giving away. We're gonna pay one million, uh, oh, about one million, maybe even over that, for Walker, who's got twelve months left on his deal. And we're gonna sell. We're gonna buy uh, sell uh, Barry McKay for half of that. And then it could rise up to one point five million, but depending on other things, that might never happen. All right, I didn't fit manager all the time just to get me money uh, to give them and uh, stuff them there. <laughs> That's the football manager reference. So yeah. I'm not feeling very today with that. Um, I'm quite annoyed by that. Uh, so yeah, let's just do this the sponsor break and then we'll jump over to the second channel because I'm a wee bit wound up. Alright, so three to one. <laughs> And we're back in there. But let's talk about the second story of today. Um, it's going to be Graham Dons has been, uh, and a uh, uh, bid's actually been accepted for Graham Dons of 1.5 million smackaroonies. Fair enough deal. I know they wanted around about 1.2 originally. We offered them the 1.2. Then they wanted 1.3. We offered them the 1.3. And then they were like, no, actually 1.5. And now, thankfully, it's all been accepted. Now, he's meant to be arriving in Glasgow either tomorrow or the next again day to sign. I believe it will probably be Wednesday, though, um, from what I'm hearing. He'll come in and give you some personal terms. But uh, I expect that to be wrapped up really, really quickly because him and Pedro did speak last, I think it was like two or three weeks ago now, maybe two weeks ago. And they sort of sorted everything out there because Pedro let him know that he was one of his number one transfers of the summer. So I expect that to be deal pretty swiftly, maybe by uh, maybe Monday. Uh, what day is it today, actually? It's Tuesday today. So all going well on Wednesday, all the stuff. It might even be announced maybe Friday or the Saturday, which would be pretty tasty indeed. Get him in for the next European lot as long as we win today's game, which we should do. And yeah, that's going to be my uh, Round Rangers roundup. I know it was a little bit ranty than usual, but yeah, I'm very, very disappointed. I know many of you guys will disagree with me, but that's what YouTube's there for. Put your comments down below. Maybe you'll convince me. Uh, yeah, is there anything else we could talk about today? Not really. The last little subject I'll do before I wrap up today's video is it's going to be Rangers versus Progress Nedicorn today, away from home. Um, it kicks off in a couple of hours' time. I'm expecting a 2-0 victory for Rangers. Uh, I expect Wycorn to start again, so I don't doubt there'll be many goals until he comes off. I'll go with Kenny Miller, and I'll go with the big boy uh, Cardoza from a corner. That is what I'm going to go with, because that goalkeeper looked very suspect when I was at Ibrox on uh, last Thursday. looked very suspect for crosses. So I'd be really, really surprised if we didn't score from any crosses. I've been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching. If you could smash the like button. Just remember to smash the like button. Because I've realised if you go back and look on the videos where I didn't actually physically say smash the like button, 
not many as do it, so yeah. Smash the like button, lads, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.